can you see? I do read the comments. There'll be... There'll be no more jazz music, I promise. Now, in today's video, primarily I want to discuss this image and why I chose the black and white version when I had all of those sumptuous, gorgeous colours. I'd also like to point out that my office is still not an office, it's a tipping, it's a dumping site, it's a storage room um, and it's chaotic, but you know, give me, give me a month or two and I'm sure I'll have a beautiful space, which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, one more thing before we start this video, a quick plug uh, to let you guys know that I will be talking and presenting at this year's Nature Visions Conference in Manassas, Virginia. And that runs from November the 2nd to November the 4th. And it's very exciting for me because I get to fly over to the US of A. So if you're in the Washington DC area, do see if you can come and say hello. So my last video saw me shoot sunrise at Hartigrat and then you saw me shoot a nice image in Lauterbrunnen and then I finished off with the lovely black and white of the Matterhorn. And I'm just going to discuss this uh, this in my video. So um, let's have a look. There's some comments on my video. Uh, one in particular from Peter Phillip. Hello, Peter. Thank you for engaging on my channel. While you are at all of these great locations, offer with clear night sky and away from light pollution, why don't you venture into some night astral photography? So, I get this a lot. Why don't I shoot night sky? And why didn't I shoot night sky uh, in this particular video? Because we had clear skies, beautiful location. The reason I don't shoot night sky photography, uh, well, there's a couple of reasons. One is I am very much a landscape photographer. I love blue hour, I love sunrise, I love sunset. If I shoot night sky and throw that into the mix, uh, when am I gonna sleep? When am, when am I gonna see my wife and my dog? It's just not gonna happen. And from a purely, from a YouTube standpoint, it, it's a logistical nightmare to try and film night sky stuff. You know, I've shot some videos of the Northern Lights, that was tricky, um, and I would just, that is a challenge that I don't think that I could take on. However, we did shoot night sky that evening. Um, I didn't, I, you know, a few of us went back and drank that beautiful bottle of red wine, but some of the guys stayed out um, and shot some night sky photography. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link to everybody's Instagram account who was on that tour. And you can go and follow those guys and you can see their images, their takes on the scenes. You can see their night sky photographs. And if you guys are watching this, uh, hello everyone upload your night sky images to Instagram so everyone can see. So the first image from my video um, on Wednesday was this photograph. Now I want to very briefly talk about this or at least critique it. I love to critique my own work because I can be I can be uh, I can be more harsh with my own stuff. Um, now this is a nice image and I, the conditions were beautiful at the time, but I didn't do much photography. Um, I don't know if you can tell from the video, I was working the group a bit, and I only got my camera out towards the end. And as much as I like this image, I feel it could be so much better. And the main reason why I dislike, or well not dislike, that's a bit harsh, the main reason why I'm not totally happy with this photograph is it's unbalanced. The cloud and the mist in the bottom right-hand corner of the photograph, that kind of throws everything off, makes it all feel lopsided to me. You've got ridges on the left, um, but you don't have any ridges on the right. You've got ridges in the center, but there's nothing filling that void in the bottom right-hand corner. So it feels to me like the image is just gonna tilt off its axis. Um, and I think, I don't know if this is helpful for you guys, but, you know, critique, 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 <laughs> critiquing my own work, um, it's good because I can be a lot more brutal and maybe maybe you guys feel the same way about the balance of this image. Okay, another viewer's comment here. Could you upload a coloured version of the Matterhorn? Maybe on Instagram. And that is from Simeon Mark Fernandez. Simeon, thank you so much for commenting. Uh, much appreciated. Now, what I would say first and foremost is... Um, my personal take on this is asking a photographer to upload a different version of their image is like asking a woman their age. You just don't do it. It's, you know, it's, it's a photographer's prerogative to want to upload what they choose their version of the image. So for me, that black and white image 
is the best version of that image. Otherwise I wouldn't have converted it. I wouldn't have uploaded it. So the question I suppose is why black and white over color? Now, I am going to show the color version. Of course I am. Um, but don't consider this any kind of release of the image. No, this, uh, this is just to, I don't know, it's open for debate, basically. Um, I don't mind either way. I have a colour version, I have a black and white version. For me, I prefer the black and white version. I would really like to know what you guys think. And in fact, on YouTube, you can do a poll. So I'm going to do a poll um, at the end of this segment asking if you prefer the black and white or the colour. Now, the results of the poll will change nothing. <laughs> I'm still going to keep the black and white image unless over time I change my mind because nothing's final until it's either a limited edition print or it's in a book or a gallery then it's not final. Even then it's not final. Apart from the limited edition print it's, it's pretty much final. Okay so this is the black and white version and for me it's all about the cloud. This image by the way the title of this image is the cloud. It was all about that cloud. Without the cloud, this image, I promise you, would be as dull as dishwater. It would just be boring. But the cloud, and obviously that ray of, that beautiful ray of light from the setting sun catching the cloud, that's what it's all about. And it's, it's about the shadows, and it's about the tonality, and the way that the cloud is partially in shadow, partially in light, and the same goes for the reflection. And, now looking at the colour version, it's it's too sickly. I think that's what it is. That's that's my impression looking at this image now. Now I'll tell you the truth, until this very second, right now, recording this video, I haven't analysed this image and asked myself why. It was more of an instinctive thing, you know, I kind of edited the image and thought, ah, it's not quite I don't why don't I like this photograph? Did a black and white conversion, tweaked it a bit. Loved it, so I never really asked myself why. So let's let's have a look. I I'll tell you why. I don't like the blue and the yellow. That's what it is. Gen, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of yellow as a colour. I like red light. I like warm golden light, and and I like purple light and blue light. I just don't like yellow light, and. The yellow with the blue for me is too much, it's too contrasting, it's, it's too sickly, it kind of feels, you know, and it was such a vibrant scene, but you know when you see um, images that have been over edited and they're kind of a bit like, you know, bleh, you know, they're a bit too much. That's how this feels. Now this isn't over edited, it's just the, the light was too vibrant, the bottom right hand, no, well the middle right hand side of the image that pulls me away from the photograph because it's 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 almost it's not burnt out but it's so bright it's a hot spot and it's a yellow hot spot and I don't like I, I just don't like the yellow and blue and it feels a bit messy it feels a bit rich it feels a bit sickly it feels like I'm eating too much chocolate pudding whereas with the black and white version everything is calm the yellows disappear, the colours stop fighting each other, stop punching you in the face, and instead you get this harmony, this beautiful tonality, this contrast, this separation, the cloud becomes more of a subject that is in harmony with the mountain. That is why I converted to black and white. Now I'm going to put the poll here, tell me what you think. Also please do leave your comments below, um, and I'd just love to know your thoughts on this. Okay, so we've got another comment here on YouTube from Photographia Australis. <clears throat> it's time, Thomas, to elevate your work to the next level. Like it or not, as a pro landscape photography, you ultimately have to someday move to medium format. You have the drive and you have youth on your side. You have the knowledge and the dogged determination to succeed and in incredible locations to explore but your efforts are not maximised by using tools with shortcomings in image fidelity. I love you man and I want nothing but the best for you and I believe anything short of perfection in your eyes is unacceptable. The soon to be released Fujifilm 100GF.
GFX 100 megapixel is a tool worth considering. Why am I so passionate? Because I would like to someday walk into a world acclaimed gallery and see your breathtaking photographs at a level that truly surpasses the so-called fine prints of others in your field. Greg. The ser seriously, Greg. Fantastic comment. Uh, yeah, the GFX 100S uh, looks awesome. It looks awesome, but you know, 100 megapixels. Uh, it's not going to be cheap. Put it that way. It's coming in at what 10 grand, body only or something. Uh, which yeah, okay, yes, it's cheap for that camera, but it's still 10 bloody grand. You can buy a new car for that. And I don't shoot for clients per se. So uh, for me, it's an investment that. I probably wouldn't make, um, but yeah, I just I really like that comment. I just thought uh, I thought it was worth reading out. Um, so yes, uh, that's it. That concludes this video. What I want to say is, in the next video, we continue to photograph the Matterhorn, um, and you might be thinking, what more images of the same mountain? And I was worried about that as well um, because the next video has three photographs of the Matterhorn, and we've just shot one photograph, so in total that's four images of the Matterhorn. But I, pr I promise you, they are so different to one another. No two images are the same. We have one in the middle of the day, another one at sunset, and one at sunrise, and we have every condition you could ever wish for. We have mist, clouds, we have beautiful crisp light, uh, we have storms-ish. Um, so lots to come in the next video and it's a really really interesting subject to talk about um, or an interesting uh, viewpoint what am I trying to what am I trying to say it's an interesting topic I suppose uh, to see how you can shoot the same location over and over and over again and it looks completely different I mean heck even a couple of the compositions are pretty much identical but the conditions are so different. Um, and I'm really, really proud of next Wednesday's video, or this Wednesday's video, the next video. I'm really proud of the next video. Um, so, yeah, tune in. Um, it's awesome. So, I'm going to continue. You can see I've got all my calendars here. These are still pre-orders that need to go out. I've probably shipped about half, and I've got a lot more to go. Um, and they're still not on general sale yet, because... Well, I've still got this lot to deal with and uh, I don't want to start selling them until I've cleared the pre-orders because it just doesn't feel right. So, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, enjoyed. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. There's loads of stuff in the description of this video. I'm going to link to the last video in case you haven't seen it. And remember, I'm also linking to everyone's Instagram accounts uh, or everyone that has one anyway. Um, so definitely go and check them out. And you might see some beautiful night sky Milky Way Matterhorn photographs. I definitely saw some on the back of these guys' cameras. So you might see them too on Instagram. Right, I'm going. Until next time, bye for now.